Lidzo is a super active performer, but how is she still obese? I am not fat shaming. I'm not saying she looks bad or needs to lose weight, but just curious how someone can tour like this and move around so much yet remain her size. Exercise alone does not cause weight loss. Nutrition is the most important factor. Genetics also play a part, so do any medical conditions one may have thyroid especially. Believe it or not, weight loss is a lot more complicated than calories too. You can be active and fat. I find it funny that people never ask this about Jack Black, and the man's been the most agile active fat person in media over the last two decades. Exercise has lots of benefits, but it's not the driver of weight loss people think it is. Your weight is determined 95 by what you eat, and maybe 5 by what you do. If you're eating a couple extra thousand calories per day, there's almost no amount of running you can do that will burn it off. It's significantly harder to lose weight than gain it. You ever seen Chris Farley on SNL and talk shows and on sets of movies? Motherfucker was doing cartwheels, picking people up over his head, running circles around his co-stars with 100 times the energy. Still massively overweight. It's easy to take in a lot of calories and very difficult to burn them off. Genetics, certain medications, and underlying health issues play a factor as well. Some people can live a perfectly healthy lifestyle and still struggle to lose weight. Wow, this sub is actually usually somewhat decent at its purpose answering questions without being a judgmental shithead. It's kinda failing at that for this one. In general people tend to underestimate the calories they consume and overestimate the calories they burn. Some people are just big. I myself work out 3-5 times a week and I'm still fat. There's a bit of sexism involved when it comes to Lidzo. People love pointing out that she's fat and unhealthy but no one blinks an eye at someone like heavyweight boxer Andy Ruiz. The dude is a god and boxer and burns so many calories through his sport but you wouldn't know it by looking at him. To add numbers to the answers, here running a mile burns a bit under 100 kilocalories for the average person. Half a Mars bar has about 130 kilocalories. The only possible people who can answer that question are Lidzo and her doctor. Mostly diet some genetics and medical issues can also make metabolism lower than expected. Have you ever noticed that nurses, who spend 12-hour shifts on their feet and walking around, have a weight problem? It's well documented they eat a lot of takeout and bring each other snacks, and being active doesn't fix that. I have a hyperactive thyroid hypothyroidism and one of the symptoms is weight loss. I wonder if Lidzo has hypothyroidism where one of the symptoms is weight gain. I have friends and family members who have hypothyroidism and they balloon up so easily regardless of diet exercise. Some people's bodies do different things than other people's bodies shrug hashtag hash. Human phenotypes are very diverse. You cannot exercise a French bulldog down to looking like a greyhound. A lot of people are just built like that. Look at Olympians that compete in shot put none of them are thin, they all have some bulk. The strongest people usually have a propensity to put on fat because fat builds on top muscle surface area. Weight loss is 80 diet. If she's eating more than her body is able to burn even with exercise, she will stay overweight. People way overestimate how much you can actually burn calories, she's just eating too much regardless of activity to lose weight and that's okay, but still. Google Lizzie dances. You'll see all sorts of videos of a dancer who is large and has a health condition. She dances amazingly and is extremely active about her passion but continues to be heavy. Sometimes it's just genetics or health conditions. Calories in calories out. If you burn 3,000 calories a day but intake 4,000 then you're still going to gain weight. The amount of people in this thread assuming they know what another person who they've never met eats, how much, and how often is appalling. Just say you hate fat people for not being thin and move on. Wow you all. The answer is simple you can be fat and active. You can be fat and healthy. You can be fat and perform like a queen every night. Do you like it when thousands of people discuss your health, diagnoses, and weight all over the internet? 
Geez. Even if we all had the exact same diet and the exact same levels of activity our bodies would all still be very different. You can go on Instacart and see what Lidzo orders on a regular basis. Some of her favorites are Coca-Cola, Skittles, Oreos, and Takis. She regularly consumes super-calorie-dense food with zero nutritional value. These foods add tons of calories to your daily intake while leaving you hungry. I was near 300 pounds at one point and making the same mistakes Lidzo makes. Once I spoke to a nutritionist I realized my snacks were adding 2-3k calories to my daily intake. She eats more calories than she burns. You can't outrun your fork. Everyone bringing up genetic and thyroid issues, are conveniently leaving out the fact you still need to eat a massive calorie surplus to get that fat in the first place, even with those diseases. So, it's not really a good answer. More calories are consumed than expended. This is the answer almost always. And don't let someone's post ever make you think you are getting anywhere near all of the information. We have no idea what this person really does with the majority of her time. Obesity isn't necessarily because of poor diet or lack of activity, it can be genetic or a symptom of other issues like Poe's in Lidzo's case. There's a lot of misinformation about obesity even in medical research and among professionals. It's super easy to out-eat the calories you burn. Exercise is just about keeping your heart strong, muscles strong. Body fat is about diet. People mention medical conditions, this isn't just about inherited traits. I put on weight slowly over time after a stomach surgery where I had about one meter of my small intestine removed. I wasn't skinny to begin with so it's a bit of a hassle. As soon as you're at a calorie excess then you aren't losing any weight some people have certain health conditions that make it harder to lose weight. There are many factors that play into one's weight. Genetics is one of them. Weight gain, loss and storage is more complicated than they've lead us to believe. IDK when people are going to grow some sense and realize that obese people can be active and fit. Some bodies hold on to fat for various reasons, genetics, different health conditions, aging, etc. Just because someone's obese doesn't mean they're inactive and live off of fast food, sometimes they're someone with a healthy lifestyle. Fat does not equal unhealthy. She's also been vegetarian for years and has been vegan for the last two years. BC weight doesn't equal health, she's overweight but can still do more activity than most slimmer people. She works out to stay fit not to lose weight, meaning she won't do calorie deficits which is one of the main things when it comes to actual weight loss. She likes to eat. Is that a crime? Going out on a limb here, but IMHO a person's weight regardless of celebrity status should not be a topic of public discussion debate. I understand the OP was not fat shaming but it is something that happens often in the media and online. Lidzo is a goddess. Look at football US players weight loss has a lot more to do with diet than exercise. Exercise is more about being fit which she is I couldn't keep up with her doing a two hour show. She eats too much. She definitely is fat and needs to lose weight, no fat shaming can prevent that. She's still eating too much. Because looks don't equal ability and they don't reflect someone's lifestyle, exercising training habits, dietary habits etc. There's even research suggesting that people have naturally different weight set points and trying to change that, or move away from that is unsustainable long term. Weight and body size is only a factor in a complex discussion around health physical fitness. Approaching fitness and weight from a mechanistic intake burn calorie viewpoint isn't realistic especially long term. She's actually very active in her daily life and eats good food. She has pros which makes it really hard to lose weight, but she's talked about her diet and exercise routine and she's extremely healthy. After party be loaded. Lot of eating disorders in these comments also a lot of assholes. She actually sits for about 75 of the show, and she doesn't dance much when she's not sitting. I'm speaking from experience having seen her a few times. She doesn't actually move that much, and your food intake is far more important than your exercise level when it comes to weight maintenance. She just eats a lot.